So we're playing a control shaman, but this isn't just any control shaman. There is a meme hidden among the cards. So the absolute dream with this deck is the opponent has 7 minions, I'm at 1 HP, they're emoting a lot, and then I go BAM Halazeal. Elemental destruction, heal up to 30, and then I've played a bunch of totems, double thing from below, I killed 7 minions, double volcanic drake, and I've played 12 spells, double arcane giant. We go from them having 7 minions and me having no health, to them having no minions, me having 7 minions and being at 30, and then they die the next turn. So that's the dream. The full 8 card combo dream is probably never going to happen, but it can still happen on a smaller scale. Even if you're just killing like 2 or 3 things with a lightning storm and then you can drop a thing from below and an arcane giant behind it, that's still pretty strong. Thing from below is definitely like the most important card at the top end. But I'm not sure if Volcanic Drake and Arcane Giant are the best options here. Maybe like Frost Giant is a better option than one of those. Not really sure how often I'll be killing a ton of minions. Not really sure how often I will have played a ton of spells because I think I'm only playing like 15 spells in the deck. So it might be easier to get a Frost Giant down to a cheap cost than it will be to get an Arcane Giant that low. So other than the subset of meme cards, I think everything else is pretty straightforward. Playing the Spirit Claws package because it's OP. Playing some draw because I need to draw cards in this deck. Bunch of board clears, heals, hex because it's OP. One Feral Spirit to hopefully keep me alive. One Lightning Bolt for a bit of single target removal. I wouldn't mind having another copy of Lightning Bolt. Another Ancestral Knowledge, another Feral Spirit. But there's just not that much room in the deck, so I'm going with one of each so far. I think just dropping the Lightning Bolt altogether for a second copy of Feral Spirit might be the way to go but I'll try it out like this for now. If you want to play Control Shaman without the memes, obviously you cut the two Volcanic Drakes, the two Arcane Giants. Probably add like second Ancestral Knowledge, second Feral Spirit, maybe like Sylvanas and Ragnaros for your late game replacements. That's probably a fairly solid list, but I don't know, I haven't played that version. Probably really want Hex against Priest. It's good against Dragon Priest, it wrecks Resurrect Priest. Make a totem. Hot Steel. So I guess he's more of a control priest. I don't think a dragon priest would play Thought Steel. Ancestral Knowledge would put me up to 9 cards. It would let me totem next turn. Or I could even still Lava Shock if I really wanted to. If I totem here, I can play Thing From Below on Curve next turn. But I don't think just playing Thing From Below on Curve is that good against Priest. Gives him something to do with his Shadow or Deaths when he might just not have a play otherwise. So I'll just draw cards here. Well, that's kind of annoying since I have 10 cards in my hand. I probably just coin nothing here. That's fine. Coin's not very good. Just a pinch of I guess I need to play my thing from below here just because I have nothing else to do. If he doesn't have Shadow or Death, it lines up pretty well. I'll just drop Justicar here. May as well get it out while I have 6 mana. And if it trades with the 4-5, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm also kind of happy to see Entomb on that, I think. I guess I'll start with the Azure Drake here. And I will equip the Spirit Claws. Do I want to punch into this guy? If I don't punch into it, he can heal it up to a 4-3, but then I can just roll spell damage and punch it again. Is this deck playing Harrison Jones? 
I'm not that concerned about my health total against Priest. I'm more worried about Harrison Jones, I think. For real? That didn't seem like the best play to me. Is that correct? Shaman has such good boards for Holy Nova. Let's go ahead and kill this guy with Maelstrom Portal, I guess. Maelstrom Portal should be pretty terrible in this matchup. And then I guess I want to just start stockpiling spell damage totems if I can. Maybe I should cut Manatide Totem from this deck, for one of them anyway. Several games now I've had just too many cards in hand. Let me change your mind. Maybe I cut Mana Tide for like a second Feral Spirit or something. I guess this is a fine Maelstrom Portal. Let's me kill off both of these guys. He's left with a 2-1 which challenges my totems. So maybe I Maelstrom Portal Lava Shock this and then weapon into the 2-1. I think I like that. I guess I start with this. See what I get. That is a pretty good one drop. How many cards do I have? I only have eight. I guess I can actually play a mana tide here. I'm actually just not going to. I'm afraid this game might get pretty close to fatigue, and I don't want him to just leave a mana tide on my board. I don't play any, like, Flame Tongues or Thunder Bluff Alliance that allow me to get rid of my own Mana Tide. So it probably goes without saying that I'm hexing that. If I hex, my Arcane Giant costs 6. I can't Totem with it, which is kind of a bummer. I wonder if it's okay to just play out, like, one big threat at a time in this matchup, or if I need to go for, like, a double Arcane Giant thing from below turn just so he doesn't have the mana to individually deal with all of them. It's definitely getting hexed. I could play a Volcanic Drake here. Yeah, I'll just play out the Drake. It's whatever. The Volcanic Drake isn't worth nearly as much as an Arcane Giant. He might be willing to Shadow or Death it, who knows. If these spell damage totems keep building up, Gonna have some sick lightning storms this game. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. So I think I've seen both Shadow or Death and one in Tomb. I wonder if I just play Halazeel as a dude here. Maybe I should try to hold Halazeel until after his last Entomb is gone. Because a 4-6 actually beats up Priest pretty well. Maybe I should just play out a Mana Tide here. I have a lot more room to just get stuff out of my hand now. Compared to before. And I think I probably want to go for like a double arcane giant thing from below turn at some point this game. So it's pretty good to actually just draw into those. I don't think I want to play both Mana Tides, though. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. I don't have a great piece of removal to use on that, so I'll probably just go Healing Wave past this turn. Could just play out my other Mana Tide. Hide it behind a Taunt Totem. That could be pretty nice. Sure, I'll go for that. Start with the Healing Wave. Nice. Got him. Alright, there's the Arcane Giant. Now I just need to draw a thing from below and also play more spells. Alright, got the Holy Nova. Oliver. 
So I can just roll spell damage, play Spirit Claws, and kill the 4-3 here. That's probably fine. He played a Thought Steal earlier in the game. I think he might still have both of my Thought Steal cards. Be this cake. The Shifting Shade had me a little bit concerned that he was playing Nazoth, but I did see a Ysera earlier. I don't think you play Ysera and Nazoth in the same deck. So I think it's just Shifting Shade as a decent value card. So I probably want to kill these guys. I can just go Spell Damage Totem, Elemental Destruction. That's probably the way to do it. So, low rolled on this guy. It's a bit of a bummer. But I can go ahead and bop into him. And then I guess I'll just play out the 6-4 here. He's played both Shadow or Death, so the 6-4 actually shouldn't be that easy for him to deal with. Okay, that was pretty inefficient. I could spend the Lava Shock here to unoverload, but I don't really see much point in doing that. Probably just pass the turn. He also wanted to just pass the turn. He still has an Entomb, but maybe I just played both Giants here. You can probably only answer one, and if I see the Entomb, I can just drop Halazeal. I kind of wanted to play both Giants and Thing from Below in the same turn, but I think it's fine to just play the Giants here. I have no time for games. I have Hex for Sylvanas. Oh, that's bad. Nice, he rolled on the Sylvanas. I probably still have to Hex Sylvanas. He's really overloaded next turn, so he can't even play Entomb. But maybe I just play down Halazil here and start getting him. I kind of want a Healing Wave, one of my Giants. But I can't go Halazil Hex Healing Wave. It's probably not that important to play Halazil here. The two Giants are good enough to carry me, I think. The frog doesn't really bother me on the board. I can just lightning storm it next turn if I need to. It actually seems kind of hard for him to not die next turn. The end is coming! Nice, got him with the giants. So against Rogue, I know I don't want these cards, but what do I actually want? Spirit Claws, Thalnos, Feral Spirit, Lightning Bolt's fine. Hey, there's Spirit Claws. Pretty sure Rogue never plays Acidic Swamp Ooze, so my weapon should be fine here. Journey Below. So that tells me he's either a Questing List or a Nazoth List. I'm leaning more towards the Nazoth. I think that card is not uncommon in questing lists, but I don't think it's, like, 100% guaranteed. So if I play the Ancestral Knowledge here, I'll have 2 mana next turn, that means I can make a totem. If I make a totem here, I'll have 4 mana next turn, I can play Thing from below. I think the possibility of playing Thing from below is pretty good. Also, if he coins out a Tomb Pillager here, I can Lightning Bolt it.
Alrighty, pretty slow turn from the opponent. Happy to see that. Probably just go ahead and drop the thing from below here. It's kind of important to make sure that a rogue can't just do whatever they want, but at the same time, they have a lot of dead cards, so if you play stuff out, sometimes you just give them plays. So it's kind of weird. I wonder if I should hold the Ancestral Knowledge here, because I want to play Justicar next turn. Rogue doesn't really have good AoE, so if I can just start slamming Taunt Totems on the board, it might actually be kind of hard for him to kill me, depending on the kind of list he is. I guess if he's a Malagos list, none of that matters. I'm just going to play the Knowledge here. I can just hold Justicar until I can play it and Hero Power in the same turn. Thank you. Okay, so playing the thing from below last turn did prevent him from playing an easy Tomb Pillager. That's good, I guess. I guess the only play here is Hero Power, and if it's spell damage, I Lightning Bolt this guy. So do I Lightning Bolt plus Weapon into this guy? I guess I do. I have another weapon in my hand. It's not always easy to find good lightning bolt targets against Rogue. Unfortunately, I did give him a coin on his auctioneer turn. I got the best deals anywhere. I played against a rogue earlier that did this, and then at the end of his turn he played an 18-18 Edwin Van Cleef. That was not fun. But hopefully that's not going to happen here. Wow, two coins and a prep. And he still only got to play one other card along with it. That's not bad for me. So it seems like the only way I can kill this is if I play Elemental Destruction. That's kind of shitty. But it does make my guy cost 2, so I can play out a Volcanic Drake, that's a thing. I'm gonna be super overloaded next turn, which is gonna suck. But I don't think I can leave up the Gadget Sand Auctioneer. I could even just throw down my Thalnos to cycle here if I feel like I really need to. Or I can just make a Totem, make my thing from below cheaper. I don't think there's a way to justify not playing Elemental Destruction this turn. I'm actually just going to cycle the Thalnos. Oh, get overdrawn. But yeah, I cycled the Thalnos. I think it's going to be pretty helpful if I can draw into a Lava Shock next turn. And just, in general, keeping up the card draw against a rogue is pretty nice. Do I just elemental destruction this guy? I'm not even sure what his win condition is yet. I saw the journey below, which was a little bit strange, but other than that, it's been typical Miracle Rogue stuff. So it could still be Malagos, could still be Nazoth, could still be questing. The elemental destruction is pretty bad against the Malagos list, but it's quite good against the questing and Nazoth lists. I don't think I can elemental destruction this guy. Not because of value or anything, just because I don't think I can have only four mana next turn. He's playing Arcane Giants. What the fuck, man? That's my gimmick. Alright, Hex is really nice. So, Hex, Elemental Destruction, I have three mana. I guess I play the Volcanic Drake. I think I have to Elemental Destruction now. It kills two and a half minions. So unfortunately I only have 5 mana next turn, 
But at least he doesn't have a board. And he still has to deal with the 6-4. Alright, so he is playing questing. That's pretty bad since I've used my two big AoEs. Damn, dude. He's showing 14. If he plays, like, Eviscerate and two other cards next turn, it's lethal. Alright, that does it. I was really, really dead. He had 12 damage over lethal. 